young FBI trainee Clarice Starling is unexpectedly summoned by Jack Crawford, head of the Bureau's Behavioral Science Unit, and tasked with a highly unusual mission. She is to interview Dr. Hannibal Lecter, a brilliant psychiatrist and convicted cannibalistic serial killer, in the hopes that he may provide insights into the mind of another active serial killer known as Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill has been abducting young women, each victim found skinned in a chillingly similar manner, and his latest captive is the daughter of a prominent senator. Crawford believes Lecter may hold the key to understanding Bill's psychology, but Lecter, guarded by layers of security in a high-security prison, is known for playing twisted games with those who dare confront him. When Clarice meets Lecter, she finds herself standing before an unnervingly calm and eerily polite man who studies her with a piercing gaze. Their interaction is intense from the beginning, with Lecter showing a sinister curiosity about Clarice's life. He agrees to help her, but only on one condition. In exchange for his insights, she must reveal intimate details about her own past. Thus begins a psychological cat-and-mouse game, as Clarice realizes that each answer she gives him reveals more than she intended. Lecter, with his unmatched ability to read people, seems to pry open her vulnerabilities, and their conversations reveal the traumatic childhood experiences that drive her desire to bring killers, like Buffalo Bill, to justice. Despite the risks, Clarice pushes forward, following Lecter's cryptic clues and piecing together the psychological profile of Buffalo Bill. As she works, her interactions with Lecter grow increasingly intense, blurring the lines between captive and captor, student and teacher. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking and the FBI grows increasingly desperate as Buffalo Bill's latest victim remains hidden in an unknown location. Lecter ultimately manipulates his way to a temporary transfer and seizes the opportunity to orchestrate a bloody escape, leaving a trail of bodies in his wake. While the FBI scrambles to recover him, Claris continues to follow the leads he left, driven by her commitment to stop Buffalo Bill. Her search takes her to an unassuming house in Ohio, where she comes face to face with the elusive killer. In a suspenseful climax, Clarice descends into Bill's dark basement, navigating its labyrinthine corridors filled with eerie artifacts and symbols of his disturbed mind. The tension builds as she moves through the shadows, her senses heightened and her fear palpable. She confronts Buffalo Bill in a final, heart-pounding showdown, ultimately managing to save the senator's daughter and bring down the killer. The silence of the lambs ends with Clarice earning her place as an FBI agent, but the haunting influence of Dr. Lecter remains. In a chilling phone call, Lecter congratulates her, assuring her that he has no plans to pursue her the world is more interesting with you in it. With that, he disappears into the night, leaving Clarice and the audience with the realization that he is still out there, a terrifying presence lurking in the shadows. The Silence of the Lambs is a masterful exploration of psychological complexity, blurred boundaries, and the dark fascination that exists between hunter and hunted, challenging us to confront the thin line between good and evil, genius and madness.